hey guys welcome back to my channel um in today's video we're going to be making another matching top for our high-rise bikini bottoms i came up with another idea that i would like to share with you guys so i'm using the same exact yarn that i used for my bikini bottom which is charm from Saculo. it recommends a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook to 3.2 to 3 millimeter and I'll be using a 3.5 to just give some more room for coverage for our bust area and then a pair of scissors and dunning needle to weave in the ends and a measuring tip so let's get started so there are two measurements that you really need for this top and that will be um, the widest part of your bust mine is 32 inches all together and once you get that measurement, you're going to divide it by 8. And then uh, mine is 32, divide by 8, which is 4 inches. And then the other measurement that you'll need is um, the measurement from the base of your bust, the base of your breast up to the midsection of your breast, which is the nipple. That you also need a measurement there. Mine is 3 3.5 inches 3 inches actually so um, that's what I'm going to be using so the first measurement that we are going to use is that measurement that you got after dividing the full bust by 8 uh, mine is 32 divided by 8 which is 4 inches so I'll make a chain that is 4 inches long so So I have 17 uh, chains, which is equivalent to four inches. I'll add one more chain and go into the second chain from the hook with one half double crochet and continue to half double crochet into each and every chain for a total of 17 um, chains or whatever number of chains that you did. 17 half double crochets, sorry. So this is row one. So I'm coming to the end of my row and I'll place a half double crochet into the very last chain. So I have a total of 17 half double crochets. I'll chain one, turn my work, half double crochet all the way across. So we want the same number of stitches for row two. So row two will have the same number of stitches as row one, which is 17. And now we're going to continue to uh, repeat row two until we get the second measurement that I told you to get. That is the measurement from the base of your breast up to the middle, which for me, that's the nipple part. So from the base of my breast to the nipple, which is about uh, three inches. So let me measure that again. Yeah, mine is three inches. So I'm going to continue working my rectangle until I get this length to measure three inches. So I have my 17 half double crochets for my second row and I'm going to repeat row two until I have a total of three inches long. So I've achieved my three inches for my rectangle length and that took me eight rows. So once you achieve the measurement from the base of your bust to the midpoint of your bust, we are going to do something different. So for row nine, you're going to chain one. I'm trying to be general as much as I can so that you can adjust this top to your specific measurements. So you're going to go into the very first 
half double crochet with a half double crochet and continue to half double crochet all the way across until the second last stitch Alright, so I'm on my second last stitch and this is my very last stitch. I'm going to go in there with a total of three half double crochets. One, two, and three. And then uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is to go all the way down here. So what I would like to do, I've placed my three half double crochets in the last stitch. I'll go into this row with a half double crochet but also half double crochet in between the rows. So I'll go into that space in between the two rows and half double crochet, then double crochet, half double crochet into the next row and half double crochet in between that row and the next row and then half double crochet into the next row. So I'm going in between the rows and also the rows. If that makes sense I'm going in like into each and every row and every point in between every two rows that's what I'm trying to do here so we are coming to the end and I'll place my very last half double crochet in that space so that's what we have and now uh, this was row 9 the one that came like this. So row 10, we are going to chain one and half double crochet once into each and every stitch. So you're going to half double crochet all the way up. So we are placing one half double crochet into each and every stitch until the end of the row. Because now our rows are going to start moving like this until we create the coverage that we need. When you come up here, you're going to continue to place only one half double crochet into each and every stitch. And we are going to keep doing this until we create enough coverage for our bust. So keep in mind, the only increase that we do is at row 9. We don't do any more increases. The next rows are just plain rows of uh, half double crochets till you come to the end of the row. So I'm coming to the end of the row and I'm placing my very last half double crochet in the last stitch. So the rows move like this and come back and go back up to here and come back so i'm going to continue to do my rows and i'll let you know how many rows that i did for my uh full coverage for my bust so this should be uh we are raising our top from our nipple up to the full coverage of our bust because this covered from down the base up to the nipple so we are lifting it from the nipple up to the full coverage of our bust i hope that makes sense i'm going to continue to do round nine and ten until round nine and ten are the same row nine and ten are the same so i'm going to continue those rows until i get the full coverage for my top So you should notice uh, your top trying to shape up. If you can see that dent at this point, that is creating room for your breast to sit into it. So 
if you see it don't try to make it flat because that's how it's supposed to be so I did a total of eight rows of back and forth of plain um, sorry there's this one of increase then two three four five six seven eight so the one of increase is the eighth row then these other plain ones are seven rows so this is what I came up with and you're going to go ahead and make another identical piece like this so uh, you're going to chain one and cut your yarn and make one more piece exactly the same size to form our second bra cup okay so I finished the second piece and I've chained one and cut my yarn at that point and this is what we have right now it looks exactly the same as the very first one so what you're going to do is to just turn it around so that it faces the other way around and this is how your piece will look like and now we're going to be joining the bra cups i'm going to just make a simple knot in between these two joining the very first stitch here and the very first stitch on the other side so wherever i tie the knot that will be the wrong side of my work So tie tightly and that forms our bra cups. So now we are going to be working on the body of the top. Okay so um, we are going to make a chain on this side. Because this is still the wrong side where I've made this knot is the wrong side of our work this is the right side of our work so leave it on the wrong side and go into the very last stitch here the one at the edge and attach your yarn Okay, and make a chain of 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And the 20 first is just to uh, tighten our end of the string. So that's the 21st. You make it tight like that. We won't be working into it. And then, after cutting your yarn, you're going to attach it on this other side. The second corner. And attach it and make a chain of 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 20 21 22 so that extra two chains are the turning chains so go into the fourth chain from the hook with a double crochet and continue to double crochet all the way down So this row is being worked on the right side of our work. You can decide to either um, use a half double crochet or a double crochet. That's really up to you. I'm using a double crochet. So 
so double crochet all the way down the chain placing one double crochet into an into each and every chain so the extra 20 chains that we have on the side of our top are to go um, towards the rib cage to hold towards the back of our top and now we are here we are going to go into each and every stitch with one double crochet I'm going to make sure I grab all those chains that are laying around and I weave them in as I go So one double crochet into each and every stitch below. So there's another string here. I'm going to make sure I weave it in as I go. And when you come to these spaces, actually this is creating a very large gap. I'm going to go down into a stitch and I do that so that we don't have those very big gaps. So when you come to the sides of the half double crochet spaces, we are going to place uh, two double crochets into each and every half double crochet space. One, two, one, two, so this is what we have. So I've forgotten to weave in this tail, but I'll, I'll deal with it later on. So two half double crochets into each and every half double crochet space. And when you come to the very last one, the last half double crochet space, you're going to place one double crochet and then one double crochet into the next the one that starts this side and then two double crochets into each half double crochet space or each half double crochet row so this is what we have and then now we are going to the body on this side where there are stitches and we are going to place one double crochet into each and every stitch until uh, when we get to the beginning of the chain on the other end So this is what we have right now and now when you get to the chain you're going to go into each and every chain with uh, one double crochet 
So go into each and every chain, placing one double crochet. For a total of 20 double crochets, because we have a total of 20 chains on this side. So after finishing your 20 double crochets on this side, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and you're going to do half double crochets into each and every stitch until... So just plus one half double crochet into each and every stitch, each and every half double crochet below, until you get to this point. Oh, there's that exact middle stitch uh, Sorry space Here we created a space here. So one two three four five six seven You have seven stitches left to the exact middle and I'll meet you at that point So I've reached that point when I have seven stitches to the exact middle. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to skip seven on this other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And into the eighth, we're going to place a half double crochet there. So this is what it's going to create, that small hole. And um, continue to half double crochet all the way across. So let me go all the way across and then I'll show you what to do on the next row. So after this row, you're going to go back to double crochets. You're going to chain three, turn your work, go into the next stitch with one double crochet and continue to double crochet all the way across your work and I'll meet you back at the end of this row when you get to the middle point where you have the chains you're going to go into each and every chain with one double crochet I went ahead to do another row of double crochets all the way across so you just chain three at the beginning and do a row of double crochets all the way across so the next row we are going to be creating the mesh pattern so chain four which counts as a double crochet chain one and we are going to go into we're going to skip this and then go into this one with a double crochet chain one skip the next stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip the next double crochet into the next and continue to do this all the way across
all right so i'm done with my mesh row and uh i've worked it on the right side of my work and we are now going to do our very final row and i want it to also be worked on this side so i'm going to chain one cut my yarn and then reattach it to this end of my top because i want my final round to be on the right side of my work so that it can look neat and show all the details so we're going to be creating scallops those who have been watching my uh, videos for a long time know exactly how to create these scallops sorry so we're going to attach our yarn in this very first box like that chain three double crochet three more times into the very first box one two and three single crochet into the next box and single crochet into the next box then chain three double crochet three more times into the same box single crochet into the next box and single crochet into the next box so those are the scallops that we are creating at the base chain three double crochet three more times into the same box single crochet into the next box and single crochet into the next chain three double crochet three times into the same box single crochet into the next and single crochet into the next we are going to repeat that all the way across our work creating these lovely scallops for the edging of our bottom of the top so i've finished my scallop pro and this is how my work looks like and i'm going to chain one and cut my yarn i'm not going to be creating loops on the side because i did 20 stitches and that's already long enough we shall go into the rows when we are trying to um, make straps for our top so i had two strings here so i'm making just a knot so that i get rid of them okay so the next thing that you're going to do is to uh, work this edge here i want to create some more coverage because i feel like my top is too open like this i want to bring it inwards so that these straps can go like this so um I think the best thing is to work the strap then I bring it down like this and then work the second strap so that's what I'm going to do I'll be working on the right side of my work this is my right side so what I'm going to do is to make a chain of four and go into the very first chain that you made with a double crochet chain three go in between the chain and the double crochet with a double crochet chain three go in between the ones below with a double crochet and continue to do this until you have a total of about a hundred segments so these are only three because i want a very long one to make an x at the back and then come and make straps on this side less up and then they hang behind my back so that's why i'm considering a very long one so i'm going to continue to do that until i have a total of about 100 segments so those are only four continue to do this until you have a total of 100. so instead of 100 i decided to do a total of 60 because it was already too long i did a total of 60 segments and now I'm going to attach my yarn, my strap, onto the upper part of my top, which is here. And I'm going to do a single crochet row. So I'm going into each and every stitch with one single crochet.
so as i had told you um my bust area is too open and i would wish to close it up if you don't wish to just go all the way down and then all the way up but for me who wants to close up that bust area so that it's not too open i have one two three four five i'm going to skip over the next five i'm including the one where we joined so one two three four five and then one two three four five so my five is here i'm going to go into the sixth with a single crochet so it will create something like this it also creates some beauty it's like a planned thing going on here and here so if you feel like your top is too open around the cleavage then you can skip some stitches to close it up a bit so I'm continuing to place one single crochet into each and every half double crochet So this is what we have, this is our strap, and then we have this, so I'm placing my very last single crochet in the last stitch here, and I'm going to chain 3 and go into that same exact stitch with a double crochet. So we are creating our second strap, chain 3, go in between these two with a double crochet, chain 3, go in between the lower two with a double crochet and continue to do that for the same number of segments that you did for your first strap. So I told you I had a total of 60 here, I'm going to do the same number of segments here and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. So after making your second strap, you chain one and cut off your yarn and this is what we have and now we are going to turn it to the wrong side, turn your top to the wrong side which is this side and grab this strap here, bring it to this side and weave it through the very first row of half double of double crochets sorry because these were double crochets and then bring this one the one on this side cross it over into the very first row of double crochets like that And then the next thing that you're going to do is to bring it through the mesh row. Bring this one on this side into the mesh row. Like that. And then bring this one on this side into the mesh row of the opposite side. So that will create an X at the back of our top. And then lest up and then we shall have enough strings to tie and play around with. You can take them back to the front if you wish. You can attach tassels if you wish. That's really up to you. But yeah, this is the end of this tutorial. You can go ahead and put single crochet edging, but I don't want to because I feel like this is neat enough. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is just to get rid of all the loose ends that are on my top. And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope to see your creations of this particular video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!